What's going on guys? Alex here with 814 ADC and today I'm ready to do my full review on the Kaiser Knives Brat. So this was one of the two knives in with the um, Sheepdog Clutch Lock in from Lefty Pass Around. Uh, they were a package together and both of these were really cool knives but the Brat really surprised me. Um, I, I had, you know, obviously you know, knew about it and I had seen other people getting it in and saw it on Instagram and so on and so forth. But this thing really surprised me. I have grown to really enjoy this knife um, for what it is. It's, it's fun, it's fidgety. I think it looks just, it's very plain Jane, but very aesthetically pleasing. Um, just all around a really good knife for, I think a very solid price. And uh, Kaiser kind of, you know, killed it with this in my opinion. And Kaiser, has really been on the up and up, you know, within the last two to three years. Um, they've really been making some very good sub $100 knives. And I think that this is right in line with, you know, everything else that they produced sub $100. Um, it's just, it's really good. And I can't wait to see maybe in the future, some more premium versions of it. Um, maybe I'm kind of having my eye, not my eyes, but kind of hoping for maybe like an LMAX or 20 CD steel, with maybe some fat carbon or even my Carta would be really good. But I guess, you know, with that being said, kind of going back on it, you would still have to have a G10, you know, base and then maybe have some inlays because this is an integral knife, which is kind of a big draw for it, is that it is a G10 integral. If I can drink my water, I'll show you guys. So it's an integral, like you, you can see here, it's just one piece construction. So I guess if you were going to need you know, if you were going to do something with inlays, um, you would have to have some sort of base here. Uh, but maybe in the future they can work that out because I think a premium version of this would be dope. Um, I really do like it. Um, and yeah, so without further ado, we're going to get into materials. So like I already stated probably two or three times already, this is a black G10 Integral knife, meaning it's all one piece construction. So you have a built in, it's built in, it's not even a backspacer, it's just the same piece right here, loops around. You do have a loop over style deep carry pocket clip that is righty only. Kind of a different clip than what Kaiser's used before. Um, I've seen it on a few other knives, but it's not like their typical loop over style deep carry clip, which is kind of, you know, cool to see. It's a flipper knife, drop point blade, um, the Brat, and then it's designed by Azo which is a very um, big designer and big, you know, big person within Kaiser. There is Kaiser and then 154 CM. Of course, it's a button lock. You do have a choil down here. Very, very simple design. Pretty, you know, straight, straight. Um, and you guys know I tend to like kind of simple, you know, very utilitarian sort of design styles similar to this. Um, so this fit right into, you know, I think that's why I liked it so much. Kind of, you know, drew my attention to it, but... Um, internal milling, there is none, but again, it's G10, it's going to be very lightweight as it is. You do have a lot of nice jimping up top here, nice flat grind on that drop point. It is a stone wash, I believe, but it's a very, I mean, you guys can see it's a very reflective stone wash. I'll check here for some specs. Um, yeah, so it is considered a stone wash. You just have um, plenty of you know, reflectability, which is nice because I love stone wash because it's kind of a worker's finish. It hides, you know, use a little bit better than satin does. But I love when you get these kind of sort of high polish reflective stone washes because it kind of blends them together. And I really like, uh, you know, from both a worker standpoint and from, you know, having a pocket toy or, you know, pocket jewelry standpoint, um, it kind of blends them together. I really like that about it. So, um, blade length on here is 3.5 inches, but I believe the cutting length is 3.15. Um, so of course you have this area down here that's sort of just taken up. Overall length 7.95 inches. Um, of course this drop point, like I said, uh, weight is not listed on here. So I am using the, um, oh, wait, it says 105 for weight. I don't know what that means. I'm using the Blade HQ because I just the first site that came up that had it still in stock, so I can link it down below to you guys. So weight is 105. I don't know what that stands for, 105 grams maybe. Um, but it's very, very lightweight, which is nice. And uh, yeah, there's only one variation of this. 
This, you know, right here is the Brat so far. So there's not a lot of, you know, different varieties out there or really any varieties at all. Um, but yeah, so that's all for materials. So we're going to run right into action next. And uh, the action is good. So this is, of course, a flipper. That's the only way of deploying this knife. Um, I've tried to do the middle finger flick off of the, not even a fuller, just the blade. And it just basically does that. Um, so you are pretty limited to a flipper here, but that's okay. Flipper knives are very well done. They're very fun when they're very well done. And uh, this has a pretty snappy detent. Um, you know, it's not, not the strongest in the world, but I think for what it is, it's very adequate. Uh, flipper tab, nice and chunky, kind of not as pointy, which I really like it. It makes fidgeting with it not as, you know, sometimes when you have flipper tabs that are real pointy and have really sharp jimping and just catch your finger really hard, really well it can be kind of cumbersome kind of annoying to you know fidget with them and you know over and over your fingers get kind of raw well here it's better because it's more you know kind of stout a little bit more flat up top here and it just makes for a very good flipping experience now you can either do the push button which is right here or you can do the light switch uh, i'm a push button guy i love just getting right on the top here kind of finding that pressure point and just Bang, following through you know again you can do the light switch I just don't tend to you know drag my finger like that it feels kind of weird after a while um, so the push button you just you know find it right on top and it flips right out um, and of course that button you have no blade play eh, a little bit of blade play I did have to tighten it up once I got it in it was a little loose so I just tightened it down a little bit and it still has very good action um, and of course you know you guys know button locks also, I apologize, my nose is very itchy. Um, and also, my cheeks are very red uh, because uh, we are outside all day roofing. It's very windy and getting cold, and my cheeks just are always red. So it's not like I have... looks like I'm sunburned a little bit, but um, yeah, I think it's just the wind burn. And just, I always have red cheeks, so it is what it is. Um, but yeah, with button locks, very fun to fidget with. Great drop action. I'm just closing the button right now. Drops close. And if you get used to button locks, you get kind of the thing where you let go of the button as it hits a certain amount, you know, a certain area down here and it basically swings shut. Um, I, you know, it'll do it if you hold it open too. That was kind of weird. But it kind of slows the blade down. Um, it's just very fun to fidget with. You guys can see button sticks out a little bit, drops. Do it lefty or righty, which is very nice. Um, so action is very nice. It's of course it's on bearings. It's very fun to fidget with. Very, very smooth. Uh, and Kaiser has been really kind of killing their button locks recently, um, and this is right on par with the rest of them. So 10 out of 10 in the action department. No complaints at all. Um, very nice for a flipper knife. Maybe in the future if they want to add some different variations, um, a thumb stud or so would be nice. Uh, maybe a fuller. They could. This is just this is obviously kind of reimagining this knife, but if they ever make like a 2.0 version, you can kind of bring away a little bit of that G10 and make it fuller, and it would really be really nice to flick this knife. Um, I love flicking a button lock; it's just very fun. Um, but still, action is very good, no complaints at all. So next, we're going to talk about ergos, and ergos on the Brat are very very good. Again, it's a very simple knife. You know, you for handle, you know, size and shape, straight across here straight across here, straight across here. Um, and you, I mean, it has a little bit of an indentation where it thins out a little bit. And of course you have that choil. Uh, so very simple design. I can get all four fingers on the knife very easily choked back. Um, you have plenty of jimping right up top here and it's pretty fine jimping, which is really nice. It just adds for a really nice grip. And then of course you do have the jimping right here on the flipper tab, but very, very comfortable. Um, I still have room for, you know, another finger if I had it, but saber grip, very comfortable. Hammer grip, very comfortable. Um, reverse hammer grip, very comfortable. You have to do some 7-Eleven gas station knife fights. You have a nice kind of pommel up here. If you have to do some stabs um, with Kevin over a Slurpee, you can definitely do that. And it's really nice because you can choke up. So middle finger behind the flipper tab right here. The rest of the fingers, fingers follow suit. And then your pointer finger wraps around the flipper choil. Um, that's very comfortable if you have to do specific push cuts or be very careful what you're cutting around. Uh, this gives you very good control and you know cutability through things and that matched with the very thin edge that the 154 cm blade has on here makes for a very good cutting experience um, the g10 is nicely you know 
uh, finished here, has a nice finish to it. Up here, it kind of has some scalloping. So it really, you know, when you're in a hammer grip or even in a saber grip, it just gives you some really good uh, grippage in sort of the palm area, just really locks it into your hand and allows you to, uh, you know, feel very confident when you're using it. Um, no sharp edges. Of course, the pod clip is righty only carry. And for a loop over style deep carry clip, it sits pretty flush to the knife. Um, it's not bad at all. So, in a, you know, back here, I can feel it a little bit, but unless I'm just gripping this so, so hard, you can't feel it. And then when you choke up, you get even more off of that and you can't feel it even more, um, if that makes sense. Uh, so all in all, you know, very similar to the action, nothing to complain about with your ergos. It's very comfortable, very simple design, but usually that makes for a very, very ergonomic experience. And that is exactly what is going on here with the Brat. So next we are going to talk about carry and, you know, spoiler alert, carries very well for the size, um, you know, closed is 4.45 inches. Um, so obviously, you know, open or overall length is not going to matter because you're not going to carry it open. Uh, you could, but probably wouldn't be your best idea, but drops down in your pocket. You of course have, you know, a little bit different, I guess, than what my normal knives are that I review for you guys, because this is an integral. So you do have some scalloping here from the G10, but that's not sharp enough or that's not, you know, edged out enough to, you know, risk using that pull the knife up out of your pocket, but you do have a flipper tab down here and it is, you know, it sits pretty flat, pretty uh, proud of the knife, but the jimping is very, you know, minimal. It's not super aggressive. So if you do happen to go down and, you know, go for change, medicine, um, chapstick, whatever it may be, and you go to pull your hand out, if you catch on this, you might just hit it and bounce right off just because the jimping is not going to catch you or, you know, hurt anything like that. So odds are you're not going to risk pulling it up out of your pocket. I carried this in gym shorts and in khakis multiple times. Carries very well. You know, it's a very good weight. And uh, I apologize if my camera's shaking. Uh, we are watching my in-law's dog and she is, uh, I'm actually, fun fact, I'm using my bed uh, right now until I find a little bit better of a lighting situation um, because in our bedroom we have one, two, three, four big windows that we can pull the blinds up. And I have both of our nightstand lamps on. Uh, because the other room that I was using was our second bedroom, which is just like my fiance uses it for her um, closet. And we have a guest bed in there and a desk and sort of um, kind of a catch-all room. We, it's, we keep it organized. It's not like we just throw everything in there. Um, but you guys might have seen clothes on the bed and stuff like that. We kind of just use it as a, an extra room, which is very nice. But the way everything was set up, we only have one window in that room. And it's like kind of tucked back in a cubby hole. And it's a tall, skinny window. Um, so I would have to like... And that's obviously why a couple videos you guys might have seen when I filmed in there has been very, uh, you know, kind of dark. And that's just because the lighting situation isn't great. So that's why I am filming in my room right now using my bed as, you know, my tripod. I got my laptop right here. So it's a fun little setup, but we'll get something better. Uh, I need to get a ring light or something like that because I want to be able to use that room over there. Kind of keep my stuff set up. That way I don't have to like reset it up every video. But that's kind of down a random rabbit hole. Um, but I obviously point was we were watching or we are watching my in-laws dog and she was just uh scratching herself so that's why my camera might have looked a little shaky but um back to the brat which is why you guys are all here carries well sits in the pocket well good weight good overall size again no complaints so that takes me or leads me to my final category of price point and what i recommend this knife so the kaiser brat goes for 89 dollars and zero zero cents you can find this for sale on White Mountain Knives or any other sites that take a discount code. You can get that down for even less. But I think when I checked the White Mountain Knives, it was out of stock. So I just went to Blade HQ. Um, I think 90 bucks is very fair. You know, you're getting a button lock integral with 154 CM, great action, great ergos, great carryability. Um, I don't think you can complain for 90 bucks. It's crazy what you can get still for under $100 in, in today's world in the knife industry. Uh, there's just so many good values, and I think the Brat is a very good addition to that. Um, you know, integrals are kind of few and far between as it is. So when you see kind of, but and typically when you see integrals, you see them as, you know, titanium or carbon fiber, and they're, you know, three, four, five hundred dollars $500. So it's really cool to see a G10 integral for sub $100 that is very functional very, you know, very aesthetically pleasing. I think this looks fantastic. I really love the just very simple design on this knife. And, uh, you know, again, for materials, price point, everything built in, I, I don't think you guys can go wrong. So I absolutely can recommend this knife. 
If you guys are interested, definitely go check it out. I don't think you will be disappointed. Um, I really enjoyed it, and I'm definitely going to um, miss it You know, once I send it off to the next person. So, again, fingers crossed in the future they come out with a more premium version of this. I would definitely be interested in checking one of these out. And who knows, maybe down the road I'll really think, like, man, I miss that rat, rat, brat. Um, and I might pick one of these up, so... Uh, just don't think you can go wrong. I think you guys would be happy with you with, with one of these being in your collection. So, um, but yeah, that was my full review on the Kaiser Knives Brat. Huge shout out to Lefty EDC for always adding really dope knives into the Lefty Pass Round. Always appreciate you, Kev. And I always appreciate you guys as well. Um, don't say this too much, but please consider clicking subscribe if you guys are liking what you're seeing. Um, you know, you guys are always joining the family and those who comment and everything and interact with me. I love every single one of you guys. Um, it's a huge part of why I love doing YouTube is just interacting with the community and seeing each other's thoughts and opinions on things. And just, it, I'm just really blessed to be in the community. And I always, you know, just, I'm happy to be in the knife community and in the EDC community and so on and so forth. But uh, yeah, so thank you guys again so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your morning, evening, night, whenever you guys are watching this, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.